today I'm going to show you how to do a spinach and ricotta roll with a homemade pastry for that I'm using 500 grams all-purpose flour or plain flour with two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of vinegar a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of sugar and 200 milliliters of warm water so let's start the pastry first when we do this pastry we always buy the filo from the shop but you will love this pastry um, after you make it so add the flour into a mixing bowl into that add the sugar salt and the baking powder and then the vinegar so vinegar and baking powder reacts in the mix and add water little by little and make a smooth dough and knead about 10 minutes if you feel the mix is dry you can always add a bit more water after making the dough leave it to rest about 15 to 20 minutes for the filling I'm using 500 grams ricotta with um, 350 grams spinach actually this is from my garden I took the leaves out put the boiling water squeezed it and cut it into pieces you can use frozen spinach or um, even fresh spinach but you have to get the water out so uh, several um, green chilies this is totally optional if you don't like to add any spices don't worry about that you can add parsley or any other kind of a herb one onion I'm using a salad onion you either you can use the cooking onion too three eggs half a cup of breadcrumbs with salt and pepper so what I'm going to do is going to add the spinach into a bowl into that going to break the eggs the eggs act as a binder and when you add breadcrumbs it absorbs all the water from the spinach and the ricotta so the salt and pepper chilies and the onions and the final ingredient ricotta so mix it really well and make a smooth paste out from that so I have this pastry ready put some flour onto the bench and then take the dough out and punch it down put some more flour onto both sides and roll it you can cut this into several pieces or you can use this as one so take one piece out and roll it to an oval shape or a rectangular shape roll it as thin as you can so I roll this as thin as I can look at this it's transparent and it's really um, thin like a filo pastry so take the ends like this make sure that you flour it nicely and take the spinach and put it in the middle because I divided this dough into four I'm dividing the mixture into four too so after take the end slowly to the top like this you have to be really careful as the pastry is thin then put more flour underneath and roll put the other one on top slowly release it from the bench if you want you can add more flour and now I'm going to do a nice spiral so take some butter and brush the butter onto the pastry really nice and well that will keep it will give the pastry a nice um, taste as well as it keeps separate from the uh, without sticking so after take this last end uh, in and roll it inwards 
inwards like this and make a spiral so if it is breaking don't worry just do it like that so after take a large spatula and put it onto the tray like this and then if you like you can add more butter brush the top with the eggs put some sesame seeds black or white it doesn't matter so bake this on 180 about um, 30 to 40 minutes or until golden brown so the spinach and ricotta spirals are ready if I cut one in half to show you how it looks like it's really nice with spinach and ricotta and it is really just like the normal filo pastry soft pastry as it is so hope you will enjoy this thank you for watching